Coming up next on the back nine, Cricket Talks Fashion. Will Matt sink the big putt? And we go to the Kemper Open and talk to really good golfers. That's all coming up on the back nine. Food for the back nine has been provided by California Tortilla, located at 4862 Cordell Avenue in lovely downtown Bethesda. <laughs> Green fees for today's show were provided by Northwest Park Golf Course. Give them a call at 301-598-3125 for more information. Okay, hey, we're back to the back nine. Welcome back. Welcome back. Big show. It's the birthday show. The birthday show, yeah. Because you're born today, or you're no, born... No, my birthday's May 28th. So that means by the time you're watching this, it'll be June something, so it really doesn't matter. But still, it's your birthday. It's our camera guy's birthday. Happy hey. birthday. And it's my birthday coming up June 1st. So it's the big birthday cool. show. That's why we can't do another show for a couple of weeks, because we'll be hung over for a long time. <laughs> and you're moving in next week. Oh boy. And I've got a wedding. So much is going on. We're lucky to be out here playing at Northwest Park Golf Course. Oofa. Oofa. I like it a lot. This is the crown jewel of Montgomery County courses. I mean, Redskins used to play here. Tony Kornheiser plays here. All the big wigs play here. It's a long course, but we're not playing the, uh, the regular 18. We're just doing the inside nine today. Uh, any thoughts on the inside nine? I like it. It's it's tight, and you just use your irons. If you, there's a couple holes you can use your driver, or three wood, or off the tee. But most of the time, it's just working the irons, and it's challenging. It's a challenging it's a nice course. course. I like it. It's really tough, and let me tell you, the the amenities here. They got a full time, 365 days a year driving range, heated, which is always good because I hate driving in the cold. And they have putting green right behind us. It's lovely. As you can see behind oh, yeah. me, there's a couple of our guests. If you could see uh, the guy, those two guys are our shorts. guests back there. You'll that's, meet them later. That's Matt and Cricket. Uh, Cricket you might have seen on the first show. He's a real fashion uh, uh, guru. Guru. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> He's got a style all his own so we'll talk with him. Matt Haney we're gonna talk with him. I don't even know what we're gonna talk with Matt about but they're both uh, adequate golfers. They shouldn't embarrass themselves. Well like, they just uh, got off 18 so they should yeah, be warmed up and they ready should to be, go. Whereas we're tired, hung over and <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen? And old. Yeah, we're getting old by the minute. So I'm going to go talk to Cricket first. I guess I'll talk to Cricket first. Sounds good. And then I'll join you and Matt out on the first tee at Northwest Golf, the inside nine. All right, good. All See right. you guys later. See you in a bit. I'm going to go talk to Cricket. Hi, I'm Charles Mann. You're watching The Back Nine. Hey, we're back. I'm interviewing this man, Cricket Kikorian. Uh, Jack, you're very quiet. You're very <laughs> shy around the camera. You know that? Hey, show them your hair. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> can, can you talk? Please. Look how shy he gets. I Look do. at how this guy dresses. This is a... Uh, definitely, a get, definitely get in front of the camera and I freeze up. Yeah. Definitely get in front of the camera and freeze up. But it feels good to be out here and with you, Ed. And I'm among friends, so I have no reason to be nervous. Uh, you're a fashion plate, man. I, you, I come out and I play with you, I never know what you're going to wear. you got the Cub Scout hat on. At least you have a collared shirt. They can't give you a heck for that. But uh, the shorts, what do you call your eclectic mix of clothing? You know, I don't know if it really has a name, Ed, but it's just, uh, you know, it's the, the, the stuffiness of, of golf traditionally. And I like to shake it up a little bit and uh, come out here and have all the older guys look at me and go, what the heck is that guy wearing? <laughs> And because uh, it really shouldn't matter what you wear in golf. I mean, as long as you follow the etiquette and play by the rules and don't disturb any other player. I don't think this disturbs anyone unless you're right in my face. And <laughs> I mean, you, I think it's fine. I think people should be able to wear what they want to wear. You know, if there are rules about wearing stuff, so be it. But in public courses, you're allowed to really go out there and show your stuff. And the courses around here have been are, are really cool, and there's not there's not really too many. They don't give you too much grief. There's no grief. There's no grief. <laughs> I mean, it's all about fashion. Show them your hair. First of all, you dyed the hair. It looks good. Right. You just got blonde last night for the big party, <laughs> looking good. So you uh you're you're not new to this area. You're coming back. You're returning. You used to be a snowboarder. We have an official snowboarder with us. Uh, tell us about where you snowboarded, who you worked for, and all of that. Well, and I lived, I just moved back from Colorado, and I lived in Boulder and in, and in Vail, Beaver Creek. Home of Mark and Mindy. Yes, definitely Mark <laughs> okay. and Mindy houses there. And um, 
Um, just just moved back. I was out there. I helped run Delaney Adult Snowboarding Camp, which is a, a which is an adult snowboarding camp for um, uh, we teach people how to ride. Was and, it extreme? Uh, extremely extreme. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, uh, um, no, it, it actually wasn't. It was for it's it's uh, snowboarding is a sport for everybody. I mean, if you can ski, actually, if you can't even ski, you can snowboard, and um, it's it's really easy to learn and try to let people know just just like you see a younger generation of people coming on the golf courses you know, snowboarding's for for everybody yeah and you'll see a lot more of the older generations going out there really tough on the butt man i fall down a lot when i snowboard so, you know, when you're learning you know you, you know it's definitely you gotta run the gauntlet but uh the learning curve is steep and uh you can learn really well and it's really natural now, um, now hopefully we got video running while we're talking here and we can look at uh, your boss your old boss tom delaney no it's kevin kevin delaney <laughs> I never met the guy personally. <laughs> I don't know him, but uh, he's big time. He goes all over the place, and uh, he's snowboarded everywhere, hasn't this guy? Yeah, he's uh, he's he's doing really great, and uh, he's he was the first ISF uh, World Snowboarding Champion, mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, he's keeping it alive, and he's bringing the sport to. Uh, like I said, the, a, a newer generation. Where do you think uh, snowboarding's heading? Is is it, is it just getting more popular incrementally? Um, you know, you still see a few resorts around that hold out and then don't allow snowboarding on the mountain, but uh, they won't stay in business for long because snowboarders are the first to get there in, in the spring. The last and, to leave. And the last to leave. And uh, snowboarding and golf, any correlation, any uh, zen quality between the two that you can connect and possibly put together here? You know, I was actually thinking about that because I knew you were going to ask me a question like that. What does that mean? I don't know. And he asked me a question <laughs> like that, and um, I think... Uh, you know, one of the one of the happiest moments when you're snowboarding is when you're out there, and it's and it's great conditions, and you're with your friends, and you're laughing and hooping and hollering, and it's and it's it's the same way for golf. When, when you're when you're when you're when you're with your friends and you're on great conditions on the golf course, then it's a lot of fun. And, and so it's there's all about being there. in the zone and having a good time with exactly. friends, man. That's what golf's all about. What do you say we go to the first tee, knock a few balls around? Shafts. Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> because it's the birthday show. We're gonna smoke uh, cigars. We don't recommend you do this at home. It's hazardous to your health, but Thank you. and my wife's gonna kill me. <laughs> or, or she won't kiss me. Okay. You so if I ready? smoke one, she won't kiss me either. <laughs> Probably. Oh man. The first signature hole. It's hole number three here at Northwest. Not too long, but treacherous. Woods everywhere. Big woods to the right and the left, and it narrows in sort of like an hourglass, and then a sharp uphill with a creek right in front of it. It's about 320 yards, 311. Really, shot management's always been the key on this inside nine, and no question about it on this hole. Uh, I'm going off with a four iron. Uh, other guys may use a five wood or a three iron or even a six or a five iron. It doesn't really matter. You just have to keep it straight and get it in the fairway. Then your second shot's pretty short, 130, maybe less, just right uphill up to an elevated green. Bunkers on the front, bunker on the back. Uh, pretty much a flat green, not much to it. But the difficult part is definitely the tee shot, and it's a very scenic hole, and it's a good one to play. So let's see how we do on the first signature hole, number three at the inside nine at Northwest Golf Course.
We interrupt this program to bring you this Kemper open update. Yeah, this is not just public access. You're watching the back nine. We're here on the uh, big guest veranda for only the exclusive rich people. There you see stars of days of our lives over there hanging out. They were saying hi earlier. A lot of big time celebrities, Brooke Shields, uh, Marlon Brando, Geraldo Rivera. Uh, Henny Youngman, you know, a lot of big time guys are here right now doing their thing. So uh, I had a chance to talk to some of them and some golfers. Let's see what happens. How do you like coming out here to the camper? Do you enjoy it? Yeah, you know, I've had some good success here in previous years and the people are great. I've got a lot of friends in the area. I've actually been coming here since 1985. So, um, you know, it's just one of these events that I really truly uh, don't want to miss. Uh, do you, where do you get to stay? Do you have to stay in a hotel have, or do you have friends? Yeah, I got a friend that I always stay with and he's 10 minutes from here and you know, we just have a good time and like I said, the, the area is great. We're going downtown to have a nice dinner tonight and you know, just... Do you keep the wait. house clean? <laughs> well, he does. <laughs> See, that's why you're the star. He gets to clean up for you. So this weekend, do you think you can take it? What type of score do you think <clears throat> is going to win this thing? I definitely say I know what score is going to win, the lowest one. <laughs> you are a very wise man, Jeff. That's right. Dude. Now, while you're here, you hang out at night. What do you do? You just stay in the hotel, relax? What do you think of the area here? Well, I enjoy the area. You know, this is a special place for me winning. Uh, this was my first win on tour and um, go out to dinner with friends. And I'm by myself this week. I'm, uh, my wife's at home with a baby. So I just sit in the hotel room, watch some basketball or hockey and uh, get ready for the next day. This is Charles Mann. He's a big time Redskin. I'm only messing with you. Big time dude. With you. If you don't know who he is, we got to take him to school, right? No, no, you don't. Uh, either you've got to be born, you know, uh, before 1970, or you won't know who I am. Have you ever heard of the Back Nine? Uh, absolutely. I've had some trouble on the Back <laughs> Nine a lot. This is Brooks. Okay. He stars in the new Star Wars movie. He's young Anakin. How was it? It was great. You're from Mobile, Alabama. What are you doing here? I'm having fun. You're having fun? I bet you're having fun. These, with these ladies, I mean, they're nuts. Uh, who do you know here? How did you get here? Uh, my aunt, she asked me to come over just to tour Washington. How do you like it? It's cool. It's cool? What do you like about D.C.? The free drinks that you get here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are always fun. Now, are you a golfer? Yes, I am. Do you mind that my hand's around you? Okay. I just want to make sure. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. <laughs> Who's your favorite golfer out there? He isn't out there. Okay. Tiger Woods? Yeah. I like Tiger, but I have a new guy for you to root for, for me. Can you do this for me? Yeah. Fred Funk. Can you say Fred Funk? Fred Funk. Isn't that fun? Yeah. <laughs> See, it's just the best, it's the coolest name. So you're out here, you're in the big wig tent. Do you feel important? Yes, I do. Yeah, I bet you do. Have you met anyone famous? Have you talked to any of the big stars of golf? No, but I've been watching them. Well, now you met me. Uh, I'm not a... They're, they're the leaders of my fan club. Uh, anything you want to say to your friends in Montgomery County, Maryland? Hey! <laughs> well, you heard it here first. Brooke says, hey. Uh, can I say it with me on the count of three? Roll Tide. One, two, three. Roll, Roll Tide! Yeah. Elvis Presley, how you doing? We're doing good today. Thank you very much. Uh, how long have you been into golf, Elvis? Oh, quite a while. 10, 15 years. What are some of your favorite courses? Oh, actually, this is a great little course right here. I enjoyed seeing the U.S. Open over at Congressional. How are the bathrooms? Oh, thank God for the bathrooms. <laughs> they're, they're real important. Now, Elvis, I didn't know you recently had a kid. Um, tell us a little about this youngster. Uh, we were going to name her Lisa Marie, but that had just been too weird. Well, Elvis, thanks a lot. I didn't know you were a golf fan, but it's good to see you out here cheering them on. Say hi to Ricky Nelson and all the rest of the guys for me. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, we're at the ninth hole, perfect squatting hole. We get people who sit here all day. 
here's one of them. I'm talking with Joan Saley. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. Now, you're a bona fide squatter. You've been here all day at the ninth hole? Just about the whole day. What is it that you like about squatting? The best part of squatting is if you find yourself a beautiful spot, you have an opportunity to see every player that's going to come through all day long. You haven't missed a thing. Now, have you ever gone to the Kemper before? Is this your first time at the Kemper? Been to the Kemper before. It's a wonderful tournament. Now, have you ever been a walker at the Kemper? I have. I do that as well. But this is a pleasant day to just sit and watch everyone. Now, the other great thing is you can squat with your husband, which has to be nice. I love it. I'm glad he had the day off. Do you enjoy squatting with your wife? <laughs> very, very much so. You're watching the back nine. <laughs> From the king, on the back nine, is one full of money, two full of show, three to get ready now. We got to go. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm here with our second guest of the day, Mr. Matthew Haney. How you doing? He's no celebrity. In fact, when you, uh, when you do a show like this and you haven't aired one yet, you got to sort of grab people at the cuff. Take what you can get. Take what I could get. This guy just finished 18 holes over at Needwood and ran out here. To... I, I sure did. It was a great time. Hit two beautiful balls. Uh, we've Stepped used that rake. joke. We've oh, used that joke. We man. used the last show, dude. And I told that one. Oh, <laughs> nice that's not try. right. <laughs> Matt, you, uh, you are a man of many uh, tastes and things like that. Uh, anything politically you want to talk about to the audience? It's your forum. It's your time. Hmm. My 15 minutes of fame? Yeah. Cut down to like a minute and a half? Yeah, two or three minutes. Um, I, I think there needs to be a girl driving around you know, a cart here serving us drinks. I, I think, think they have that here. That, that's, well. If we could only get free drinks, but that's not going to happen not any time soon. Plus, we're not allowed to drink on the show. No, I'm, I'm apolitical. You're, you're apolitical? <laughs> uh, so how's your golf game, my man? You are, uh, you're not one of those big uh, power hitters. You're just a nice I'm man. finesse. You're finesse. I am all finesse. The way. How have you been playing this summer? So far, so good. Uh, it's a little expensive. Can't get out as much as I'd like to, but... Uh, this helps. This definitely helps. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been playing for a while. You got the old school bags, the old school clubs. You are pretty much old school all the way. I, I am indeed. So uh, right. you looking forward to this round? It should be fun. Should be fun. Try um, to keep it entertaining. Uh, what else can I talk with you about? How can I make you interesting? There's not much I am not on. interesting. I'm your average, typical blue collar, blue -collar worker. Guy. Cable guy. I'm a cable cable guy. guy. Anyone you want to make a shout out to real quick? Is anyone watching? Is that yes? There are people watching. <laughs> try, I think. I hope. <laughs> uh, not particularly. Yeah. Well, say, let's talk say hi to my dad. He lives in Chicago. But. That'll help. Let's talk a little bit about the course we're about to play. The inside at Northwest. Have you ever played it? Uh, it's actually very nice. Very nice. Yes. And it's looking good this year. Uh, green. Oh, not too rough. Uh, last time I was here, though, they were plugging. They're the grounds, air, air, yes, air, air, everything out. They're not arid. We're ready to go. It's late May. They've, they've got this course all set up. So let's head out to the, uh, you want to head out? I think oh, we wait. should. We're, we're heading up. out to the next signature hole, actually. We've already been playing for a while. You don't know that yet. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Thanks for Mass informing Mass Confusion me. Show. It's the birthday show. We're all hungover. Let's head out to the next signature hole. The sixth hole here at the second signature hole, the sixth hole at Northwest Park Golf Course. Oh, it's a beast. It hurt us all. <laughs> hurt us all or will hurt you all. It's, what, about 380, 390, somewhere around there. Long, but the big dog thing Dog legs is, to the right. Dog leg to the right. There's a creek, so you think you can drive it, but you're going to go in the creek. Creek and a grove of trees, which hurts. Hurts. In fact, <laughs> you can hit it on the fairway and still have no chance at the green because it's a dog leg and you have to get it over trees very difficult hole. It's been said by many people here that this is the hardest hole on the course period of all the holes. Even though the fifth hole on the big 18 is the signature hole, this hole, it's just brutal, Bob. It's, you know, the same thing. Dip down, go up. There's a creek in the middle. Uh, tough green, lots of traps around it. Uh, it's, it's not a pretty hole. Very challenging and it requires incredible shot selection all the way around and incredible accuracy off the tee. Yeah. Any other thoughts, Bob? No, not much. I'm just ready to go to the next one. This has been the ugliest round of golf <laughs> it's ever. It's the birthday for us. show. It's the birthday show. We're all hungover. We're not playing well. No. Remember, but... first show you played well, second show I played well. This show, we, we, both, we both stay. We're duty. All right, so let's take a look at the six hole, the signature hole here at 
Northwest Park Golf Course. I would too. It's bad karma, Kramer. I see you disagree by the way you look at me. Tell me when you see her in. Not exactly what you want. Nah, you know, I think my problem is my underwear. Your underwear's a little too tight. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make a one footer just once? No. <laughs> Hello, folks. I'm Doc Walker, and you are watching the Back Nine. Well, it is not. It's this has not been the prettiest show. We're on the eighth hole. Last signature hole. This was so haphazard. We're having a terrible time. Although I, I parred the last hole. So did I. We're Yay. We're yeah. back to normal. This is the last signature hole. That other one, number six at Northwest Park, killed us. Ugh, I think I lost two balls on that one. And I didn't hit a rake. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this thing what is a going? long 175 par three. It's over a bunch of water and bunkers everywhere. Pretty hole when, uh, when it's in season, in bloom, yeah. when the flowers are everywhere. But today, we'll see what we can do with it. It's the uh, eighth hole eighth here hole. at the inside nine. Ready to finish this ugly scene. <laughs> but I'm telling you, we're, somebody's going to par this thing, if I have my druthers. It'll be cricket. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Par three, eighth hole, Northwest Park. Let's Enjoy. Do it. Lord. <laughs> That's true. You gotta talk to it, Ed. No insurance can put a bottle of water. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> That's a provisional. Yeah, yeah baby. This is
<laughs> Food for the back nine has been provided by California Tortilla, located at 4862 Cordell Avenue in lovely downtown Bethesda. <laughs> The inside nine at Northwest has killed us. Every time we play this course, it kills us. Not every time, but uh, Most today of the hurt time. us. It's a great course, though. You got to come out, check it out. It, it, uh, it's really challenging. This is don't do it on your birthday. <laughs> we've gone from Needwood to Sligo to Northwest. It's a step up. It's a it's another step in the game. And Northwest is definitely the most challenging of the uh, nine hole courses we've played. Oh in the I, yeah, definitely. I mean, by far, creeks just treacherous holes. Uh, you finished with the 46. Not bad. Uh, <laughs> 46. We, we try to strive to be about 18 to 20 handicappers, and we're not doing it lately. But nah. you would never know. But if you watched the last show, I shot a four over at Sligo. So who You've knows? Been bragging about that for weeks. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to brag about. Uh, but I shot a 47. Matt uh, putted grand but what did he shoot what'd you shoot matt 48 48, 48 for matt not bad. cricket time to cricket. get a new hat <laughs> he uh he had his problems too but he, he was a great guy a lot of fun to have i want to thank matt and cricket for yeah, coming out lot, guys uh this was out. a this was a last second on the whim type of show uh you know i've if got it looks a lot a little rough it's because we are a little rough We're, this is a rough day because <laughs> we got the kemper coming up which i'll be working at hopefully we'll have kemper footage uh we have i'm moving into a new house yay uh it's our birthdays. I mean, this is just, we had to squeeze this in because it was our only window of opportunity. So if it's an ugly looking show, I apologize. But if you laugh, then we, we did what we needed to accomplish. I guess so, yeah. So first I'd like to thank Rich Conti. He's the pro here at Northwest Golf Course. Uh, great guy. It took a lot of guts to let us come out today. Who's, do, who's taking care of the greens? And uh, I believe uh, Jay Fargo. Jay Vargo, I think. Far has, Vargo has, has come Vargo out here and he's working on it. It's going to need some uh, work. It's a nice looking course, though. Great yeah, layout. Uh, always heavy, heavy usage. A lot of people coming out here. A lot of people playing Northwest. Also, would like to thank uh, everyone else who's watching California Tortilla, etc. And uh, that's it. We'll see you next show i think we'll be out in laytonsville that'll be interesting is that our first full 18 that it'll be our first full 18 i don't know exactly who our guests are but it's going to be a lot of fun okay, so we'll I see you wait. next time on the back nine see bye Music for the show today was provided by the excellent Zespots. Check them out on the web at www.zespots.com. From the pro. Now it's time for the Mac Nine's tip from the pro. One more time. Three. Go three, two. Now it's time for the Mac Nine's tip from the pro. I didn't like my eyes on that one. Let me try one more time. Now it's time for the back nine tip from the pro. Now it's time for the back nine tip from the pro. <laughs> they did for sure. Okay. Now it's time for the back nine tip from the pro.